The festive season is incomplete without some party, smoky jollof on your list. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make the best delicious smoky jollof rice for this season. Now, first of all, we have to go to the market. We need tomatoes, we need pepper, shombo, tatashe, you know, the good stuff. You need onions, you need garlic, and then you're going to take all of this to the commercial blender and blend everything to a smooth paste. Now, while I'm showing you this recipe, I'll also be telling you some fun stories. First off, let's prepare the meat. So, are you team season the meat heavily or team season the meat lightly? I'm actually team season the meat heavily. And then use like a sauce or stew base to now, you know, bring down that spicy, delicious taste, you know, to like something that everybody can tolerate. So, as you can see, I'm showing you different spices, chicken seasoning, curry masala and then there's one ingredient that i always use that makes my meat a game changer like the taste is different it's sesame oil if you've not been using it please the next time you sit in the market grab a bottle like hold it tight grab one bottle of sesame seed oil it's really really good so as promised earlier, I talked about, you know, sharing some fun stories with you. If you are a proper Nigerian, you know that when it comes to food at parties or events, it can cause lifelong malice. So now let me tell you this story. It was my sister's wedding and we served fried rice, jollof rice and afang soup and maybe some other things that the main dishes our guests were supposed to pick one like the main dish you eat at the wedding and you're supposed to pick one you either eat um fried and jollof rice with chicken plantain and all that or you have soup which was afang soup um by the way i'm from aquarium state yeah so three months down the line it was my mom's birthday 60th birthday and i see one of our very close family friends coming to meet me like, ah, and do you know that your sister's wedding? I did not get a funk soup. I'm like, ah, you did not eat. Did you eat or did you not eat? Say, eh, I ate, but I also wanted a funk. Hmm. What do you think? Should people be able to eat more than two or three, you know, main dishes? Or was it right for her to come and meet me and tell me that, oh, she didn't get a funk? Anyway, we shall package a funk for her. At that my mom's 60th birthday mind you at this event she had also eaten you no know, but you know people can be very funny especially when it comes to party and food i don't know if this is just a nigerian thing or it happens in other places now still the same wedding i just don't even know what it was about at my sister's wedding maybe the afan was just too on point i don't understand i go to visit my dad at his office and his co-workers not one but like two or so we're like, hey, we came for your sister's um wedding party, oh, but we ate, but we didn't get a fang. I'm like, ah, you did not get a fang bao since when? Three years ago. Hmm. At the end of the day, do you know I had to cook a fang soup and bring to these people? Like the next time I was coming, like, ah, please, oh, you people should not be annoyed that you did not get a fang soup that day. Oh. So here is the a fang soup now. What do you think? <laughs> was it right for them to still be putting wedding food in their minds after how many, after months, after years? Like, this is a true story. Oh. This is not me fabricating anything. So, if you've had such experience before, please put it in the comment section. Let it not be like it's only me that have experienced this. Now, back to our jollof rice. So, when making jollof rice, the quality and the taste of your jollof rice actually depends on how much ingredients you are willing to put into your meat because you know it is your meat stock that you used to cook the rice how much ingredients you are willing to put into the jollof rice soup way sweet na monikilam so it is important that you know even in this economy you are using the right amount of tomato pepper tatashe blend and of course Tin tomato or tomato paste is quite expensive right now, but if you want it to be red, if you want it to come out well, then you need to, you know, maybe spend a bit more. 
so our chicken is ready let's go into preparing the tomato paste sauce for the jollof rice so i'm going to be putting some spices into this um stew this is what we're going to use so for me now when i cook jollof rice i always use the yastic of cooking one derika and then i calculate it across if i'm cooking 16 derikas 10 derikas so what ingredients i'll use for the ingredients i'll use for one derika i'll multiply it into 10 places or 16 places and my jollof rice always comes out on point always comes out on point now the reason why we have to put all the spices and cook the tomato paste in a stew before adding it to the rice is so that everything will boil together the aroma will come out together and you don't get a jollof rice that has like this sour slappy taste it's supposed to have like a sweet tomato spicy kind of taste so in we go with our bay leaf there is no jollof rice smoky jollof rice without bay leaf and we'll boil it with the stew at this point once it has heat up a bit then we are going to transfer it into a bigger pot and then add water and then add our rice so that's what i'm going to be doing now i'm adding the rice washed cleaned properly into the pot so i leave it for about an hour i leave it for about an hour and then i start turning the rice because i want every part of the rice to get enough heat see how orange this rice is like i said you might need to spend a lot of you know money on your ingredients if you've enjoyed this video thank you for staying up to now subscribe for more videos like this and we'll see you in our next upload bye happy festive season